Harness Racing's colorful bad boy, winner of 37 of 41 starts, has captured the fancy of race fans everywhere. And today, above all, he's Mr. Box Office himself. Will the rest of the Hamiltonian field have a chance? Let's find out. Well, we're talking about a great horse. There's no question about Neverly Five being a great horse. And of course, the Hamiltonian is a great race. I've seen a lot of Hamiltonians and drove a lot of Hamiltonians. I've seen a lot of upsets. But uh, from what I've seen in Neverly's pride, as a two-year-old and a three-year-old, uh, I don't think the other horses can beat him. Uh, they might be an upset in this one tomorrow, but then, in my estimation, I think that Emily Pride is one of her great trotters of all time. And if he's all right, I don't think that uh, they'll be able to beat him. Well, the old saying goes, anything can happen in a horse race. And I always hope that a big race like this, there's no mishaps and, and the best horse will eventually win and usually happens, especially going two heats. I think the big race will be really to see who get in behind and follow Neville Pride because I imagine he'll be at the front past the quarter pole. I've got a nice leaving horse. He's a nice race horse, but he, he hadn't beaten even the second and third horse too many times this year. Dart Hanover, especially a fast leaving horse. And uh, Snow Speed, especially a, a fast leaving horse. They both trot all the time. Most all the horses do, do stay on the trot good. I think it'll be a real good horse race. Well, they're gonna have a a tough job to beat Neville's pride. I believe uh, that the people this year are going to see that one of the, the greatest trotters that ever lived, Neville's pride, driven by Stanley Dancer. I, I don't think that there's any horse that can compete with him. Barring all accidents, Neville's pride will win a Hamiltonian in straight heats. Well, outside of Neville's pride, I think it's going to be a big race. Uh, naturally, everybody likes to see the best horse win. And uh, I think Neville Pride's been the best. He's proved that. And uh, I'd like to see Neville Pride win it just because he's been the best right down the line. Well, that's how some of the nation's top drivers feel about Neville Pride and the 1968 Hamiltonian. But on this beautiful Sunday afternoon in late August, a near capacity crowd will turn out to see for itself. Dangerous challenger today is Snow Speed, winner of the big American National at Sportsman's Park two weeks ago, and the pride of Castleton Farm. Dart Hanover was third in the $150,000 Yonkers Futurity. Coleman is a handsome son of Speedster, who produced Hamiltonian winner Speedy Scott and Speedy Street. Keystone Starlet, fast, formidable, and one of two fillies in the nine-horse field. Now the slow motion symmetry of Neville Pride, the easy effortless power which in 1967 made him the first two year old trotter ever to win the Harness Horse of the Year Award. Driven, trained and humored by Stanley Dancer. Everything in readiness now, including Hamiltonian proprietor Bill Hayes and two of the prettiest railbirds in captivity, Ann Roberts of Western Harness and blonde Cheryl Miller of the popular Doctari television series. Australian broadcaster Bruce Skaggs ensures that coverage of this racing classic will again be a global affair. Mothers get ready to leave their children behind, and the ageless Hayes Fair Acres gelding, Pronto Don, driven today by Press Genuine, tells the huge crowd that it is indeed Hamiltonian time. Last one out is Neville Pride. He's drawn the extreme outside post. 